Hello everyone, Anna here. Today I'm going to talk about a Sun and Moon Pokemon theory. So if you don't like stuff like this, uh, click away or stay. It's also going to contain pictures from Google that is not mine. So please give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. It's also going to be mixed with the Full Metal Alchemist. So if you don't like the idea of those two worlds uh, being you know, blended or having some things with doing with each other, then click away again. I'll stay. Yeah, here we go. Tight to aim. So Luxton just made video where he talked about Null being a newer creation or a creation of the Pokemon Arceus, the God Pokemon. A, fail, a failed attempt on making, you know, a copy of it uh, and making it, um, you know, so it could actually defeat uh, Arceus in battle. Now, I was like thinking, uh, if they got the inspiration from Full Metal Alchemist, I really do don't hope that we are going to lose uh, Lily. I actually feel like there's going to be a very strong connection between her and the um, small dog Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I forgot its name, but uh, if we are going to follow the same storyline as uh, Full Metal Alchemist, we all know what happens with the little girl and the dog. Uh, yeah, also warning spoilers from Full Metal Alchemist. So if you haven't watched the show, I will recommend that you go and watch it instead of hearing me blabber uh, about this. So yeah, um, that was actually all that I have to say about that. I really do feel like um, Null could also represent, you know, the three um, alchemist things that are needed to defeat actually um, Arcanius or the other legendaries in battle. So, for example, uh, Lunala and the the other one. I forgot the names of the legendary Pokemon. Uh, I'll show a picture of them here: the bat and the lion. I actually feel like the also Galerio, what it's called. I actually feel like the Newell is um, the perfect weapon to, you know, defeat the lion and the bat. And there again, I was thinking about, you know, Full Metal Alchemist. I was thinking about the Philosopher's Stone because, you know, Luxton is talking about how to make a Philosopher's Stone. And he's like, you need uh, this stuff and that stuff. You can go and watch this video if it interests you. But it's something with the starters and something with the dog. And again, I was like, uh, I hope nothing is going to happen with, you know, <laughs> Lily. Uh, I hope that she's going to be okay and not going to get fused with the dog. And we are going to have a very sad ending or we are going to lose her and she becomes this jellyfish thing that is um, a new Pokemon. I really do, don't hope that they got too much inspiration from Full Metal Alchemist, but something is definitely clear uh, in Full Metal Alchemist in all of them. In the start, they're trying to um, get their mom back. So they are making the circle, the summoning circle, and they're finding something to represent her and it's uh, salt and stuff like that. Uh, and then they, you know, give up actually an uh, arm and a leg and a full body to actually get something back that is not, um, you know, their mom. And I was also thinking a lot about this could also happen in Sun and Moon, you know, that we see that um, this is how, you know, the Sogaleo Pokemon was made and the a uh, bad Pokemon is made. That is why, you know, I feel like there is some f somebody in the Pokemon. I really feel like um, Olympia is in the bat and, um, you know, the evil dude is in the <laughs> lion. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. But yeah, I really do feel like there's 
somebody that offered up their life to become a Pokemon or you know, be set into the world and stuff like that. And with the wishes of Olympia, I really do feel like it fits very well that she could actually have the inspiration from, you know, Full, Full Metal Alchemist brother uh, mom. And um, in Full Metal Alchemist, we don't see the dad before very, very, very late. And um, the Pokemon games have a way to not have the father in the picture and stuff like that. But I really do hope that they will um, get to that. Actually, I have a feeling that we are going to finally meet our dad in this game. I know that there's a other Pokemon game where you can actually meet your father, but I really do feel like this one is, um, if you have Pokemon Moon, I think that he's going to be evil. And if you have Pokemon Sun, I think that he's going to be good. But that's just, you know, me. Uh, thinking a lot about you know stuff but the portals and stuff like that I was also thinking about the door in Full Metal Alchemist it um, almost uh, is used like a portal to the other world where you know Rev is waiting on Edward uh, Rev is the one that took you know Edward's arm and leg and are waiting you know for the rest of him to come back um the more convoluted story is that the mom to Rath actually um you know makes it so so Rath comes out into the real world and sh he gets a mom and stuff like that um i really feel like there's some something about that also because i really do feel like the Starter Pokemon could be almost, you know, like Rev on the other side, on the uh, behind the door, or maybe some other Pokemon is behind the door. For example, uh, the Newell Pokemon, or something even, you know, bigger. Maybe Arceus is uh, behind the door. I don't know if we are going to get even more, you know, legendary Pokemon, or else the uh, lion and the bat, of course, I feel is going to be uh, behind the doors or behind the, um, you know, portal or in front of the portal, actually protecting the portal so you can't go through it unless you, um, you know, defeat them. I just hope that <laughs> nothing is going to happen to Lily uh, in that kind of a sense. I don't hope that she's going to be, you know, mixtured in with the dog Pokemon and I don't hope that she's going to die and become this um, jellyfishy Pokemon. So that was actually all that I have to say about that. Um, in Full Metal Alchemist we also have the seven deadly sins. And I definitely feel like uh, it could also be represented in Pokemon, the seven deadly sins, uh, who is wrath, who is, you know, envy and lust and so on, pride. Um, I don't know, maybe the Pokemon trainers, have you thought about that, you know? Some of the Pokemon trainers absolutely look like, you know, the seven deadly sins right now. If I have to say some something, I will let you decide who is what. But um, for example, the long blonde hair girl stuff could actually be Lust or the one that looks like uh, uh, the one from Scooby-Doo could also actually be Lust. I don't know. I just feel like um, there's some connection between that and the Pokemon trainers. Also the new blonde haired uh, villain. I forgot his name. But he is supposed to be the one with the Null Pokemon. I actually believe that he is going to play an essential part like Rev did in Full Metal Alchemist. And I feel like maybe he could be Rev, you know, an uh, extension of that universe or how to say that. But um, maybe this is just a convoluted theory. 
I actually do love the concept of alchemy in Pokemon and the making of the Philosopher's Stone. I must admit I don't like the um, with uh, losing your mom and trying to get her back from the dead and you know the fusing of the dog and the small child. <sighs> So I really do hope that there's not going to be stuff like that in Pokemon, but I don't feel like um, maybe this is just too far out to be true. I just want you to think about, you know, the seven deadly sins and the new Pokemon trainer. So yeah, that was actually all. Uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner and do remember to take care of yourself and loved ones and have a great day. Yeah, that was actually all. Okay, yeah, bye.